All right, we are back. Uh, got back from uh, the Bahamas last night. Had a huge steak dinner. I think I ate like a an entire ribeye and a filet mignon with bacon wrap. <laughs> and uh, got back into the whole carnivore life. But we're back here, it feels good to be home. Um, busy, busy now, moving forward. Got a lot of trips lined up. We'll run all through the summer, have a little break in August, and then run you know, pretty hard through the fall a little bit and then take some time. But, uh, but yeah, it's awesome to be home, beautiful water. From what I hear, the fishing's been really, really slow, but I'm still just super appreciative and grateful to be back and be back here fishing. Um, Palmas was cool, really interesting experience. Um, Walker's like such a historical, amazing, you know, destination um, was something I just wanted to check out. I've always heard about, so it was really pretty cool to see that and, and check that out, and then also kind of peep in on the guys what they're doing with the numbers fishing and you know all, um, those crews that are pretty uh, pretty dialed in and you know on the top of their game with the sonar and stuff. It's really impressive what they're doing. Uh, Ronnie won it. Ronnie Fields. He's a gangster man. He just gets it done that was impressive to see him just nailing numbers on it you know uh, lots of small fish and tackle and dead bait fishing and you know pitching the fish and using sonar and just definitely totally different than what we're doing here um, but really cool to see uh, you know for us we never you know we didn't win but at the end of the day like I was saying you know our, our goal wasn't to go there and try and slug it out you know and, and catch sailfish and a bunch of little blues and try and add up numbers uh, you know both didn't have the capabilities to really kind of hang in on that level but you know our purpose was to kind of go out there and kill one so that was either going to happen or it was not going to happen um you know we had our we had some shots so you know we had some great fishing you know um sandy got her you know miss miss mr year's wife sandy she got her first blue marlin that was awesome she got her first wahoo which ended up winning second place in the tournament um we had some other fish bites mr rieger caught a blue uh, missed a couple more, you know, had our bites, caught some mahis, caught this, caught that, you know, did, did the thing, good good experience. Um, you know, I kind of did something on the last day that I never do, and, um, you know, I mean, obviously it's a Monday morning you know, quarter. Yeah, last day I kind of did something I don't usually do, um, and uh, I, chased, I chased a bite, you know, those guys were going out west, fishing off the corner and fishing in really, really shallow in that zone and you know seeing a lot of a lot of a lot of fish a lot of small fish so a lot of numbers and uh you know i just kept hearing about it at the dock you know but where i was going was places i felt i just you know felt like there'd be a big one there and you know i mean we were still seeing blue marlin there but um you know i was kind of just the zones i felt were gonna produce a, a shot at a really nice one but you know and hearing the ones that were there and the occasional 400 being seen down there i mean at that point no one weighed one so really all we needed was just a weighable one. So I thought, man, you know what? Let's finish our last day. We'll run down there. They're getting bit down there. Um, got down there though, fished it for a while. Boats all over the place, kind of a parking lot. Didn't see too many people getting bit, but you know, we didn't get bit. Then it started, the grass started moving in on us and I just, I just wasn't feeling it. And I was like, screw this. I still got time to get over to where I wanted to fish. And I got to where I wanted to fish, which is where we should have started the day, probably and ran the day. Anyways, we got there, and sure enough, somebody's chasing one around, and right in that zone, right, right where I you know, was kind of hoping, was thinking maybe. But anyways, I guess they fought that fish for four hours and broke it off on leader. So, you know, I don't know, shoulda, coulda, woulda, but it is what it is. Awesome experience. Um, I appreciate the opportunity, but man, it feels good to be home. It feels really good to be home. We're going to be looking for, for some big ones and in good conditions and uh, start the day off here, see what the current's doing. Like I said, I, I haven't been around in a few weeks, so I'm going to start from scratch here and see what's going on. Um, haven't heard much, so hopefully the Kona turns on for us, gives us a little welcome home gift. Hales is with us today. She's joining us for the day. And, uh, see what we can do. Stand by.
All right, coming out of. See him? Yeah. Look at him. He's passed. Turn that chair for him. Yep. All right, Ed, you go down there and keep that chair turned. Welcome back. Welcome back, baby. That chair turn. All right, if you want to sit or someone stand there, my guy just talk to me. All right, get ready. I might get you a shot here. <laughs> Good job, Paul. <laughs> Good job, Captain. You're any more excited than you are, Paul. I don't know about that. <laughs> I just can't jump around much. Yeah. He's trying to tie it into the stuff. I'm pushing you and pushing. Here we go, boys and girls. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There's a peg. Yeah, baby. You're doing great, sir. You're doing great. Just keep doing what you're doing. Real, real, real. Nice. It's gonna be fun. It's, it's coming up. Be ready, I'm probably gonna have to let this go pretty fast. Hands going that way. Real. Honestly, I think we were fishing for what, an hour? 
to him. Well, maybe an hour. Yeah. Ate the smash bait, went berserk, welcome home. Kona. Yeah. Uh, drove around the Bahamas for weeks. Didn't see one over 200. Got home within an hour. We got one piling on the sh on the on the smash bait, going absolutely berserk. We caught it super quick. Let her go. She came up upside down. Brought her on the boat. Tried to revive her. Didn't didn't survive. Uh, it's an unfortunate fact of life. Uh, we tried everything we could. I don't know what. So we pulled her in the door. We're gonna kind of cut it short here. I, my buddy Bomboy Lana. She may know his lures. Bomboy lures. Uh, Super good guy, legendary fisherman. Um, they got a family birthday party, so they need a fish. And uh, so this fish will go with to them, donate like a, you know a birthday present for them. And a lot of people are gonna eat it. Uh, we're taking care of her right now. Make sure she looks good when we get her there. Um, we're not gonna weigh her. I just I'm, I'm the whole weighing the fish and killing them and weighing them and doing that. You know, unless it's like gonna be one over the mark, it's not something I'm fully gonna glorify unless I got a big check coming in the mail. So obviously it's the client's choice, um, but our clients are all about release and you know, it is what it is, it died, but you know, a lot of respect for the animal. We're gonna go drop it off the Bomboy and uh, see if we can find a bigger one out here. Probably, I would assume this will probably be the end of our day. We'll bring it in, weigh it, and, or not weigh it, bring it in, give it to him, and, and probably by the time that's all done, we'll probably be all done with the day. But. Good fish, regardless. Uh, right out the bat, nice to see. Nice to see. Uh, remember how to do this, and uh, yeah, good to be home. Isn't that right, Hales? Yeah. Cheers to that. Bring your girlfriend to work day. I'm telling you, this girl's lucky. <laughs> She's not gonna let me put that on the episode. All right. See you guys later. How long will we get them rain upon I and I children? Yeah. All of them are going to stumble and fall. And the righteous don't have them back against the fall. You going to smoke them or what? Just eat them? I'm going to poke you. Poke you? Okay. Yeah. Can you poke you? I'll give you some. Yeah. Cheers. Whatever you got left, but don't go around here. You got a party. Feed the family first. Yeah. I'd like to bring one in about. 1100 pounds bigger. <laughs> Why you want to show them out? <laughs> I might have to get them out. Yeah, he did my right mouth. So yeah. It's a bomb boy. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing goes to waste. Not up here. Good. Not here. All right, we're back. Uh, yesterday we had that one, like I think at first hour. Came up, caught it pretty quick. I was looking at the GoPro footage last night. I think we caught it in about eight minutes. Um, released it, came up all weird, whatever. Long story short, we threw it in the boat, couldn't, couldn't revive it. Dropped off to my buddy, and uh, by the then my charter was like stoked. They're just like, ah, we're gonna go have drinks by the pool, go for a swim. So they went home. So we're here today, we're back out here. Different, different water out here today. So we're gonna have to figure out what's going on. Uh, a little stormy little weather um, I'll see what the current's doing around the corner here but um, yeah different day welcome to Kona um, but yeah we're uh, out here looking for some um, maybe we'll find a big one We've got hails with us one more day got my Walker K coffee cup makes the coffee taste better Had to go down and feed that one.
There he goes. Good job, good job. Wow, nice work, guys. Right oh guys. Well, we're making the turn right here on the corner. About to head in. Uh, kind of finished up the day up here in the pocket, fishing some of the south current edges in here. And, uh, looked all right, but just, just didn't happen. Um, but we will be out here in the morning. Uh, today was just a spearfish bite. Oh, tricky one. That we were able to get uh, kind of feed there and get stuck. And um, yeah, it looks like a little bit of rain coming in off the mountain right now. And maybe we'll get a little. Um, Shammy ferry action going on. I have to not have to shammy the boat, but yeah, kind of a beautiful day on the water for the most part, though. And just uh, didn't find the one we want. We will be here tomorrow and the next day. The next day. But all right, see you in the morning. What's happening? Uh, we're back out here. A little fresh new haircut here. Gonna bring us some good luck. Uh, a little bit of a stormy, wind choppy, rainy morning here. Uh, anxiously anticipating the weather of summer to show up. I don't know what is going on this year. We have weird, weird weather, weird moving around currents. So yeah, ready, ready for normal weather to appear. Anyways, coming around the corner here, a little bit stormy, a little grumpy. Um, kind of getting into the start of our season. Here. Well, we're already in it, but you know, getting into our start of our real busy time. We'll pretty much be out here every single day until we get into uh, towards the end of August. Uh, fishing still really hasn't just switched on yet. But uh, you know, there's been a couple around. It's good to be back, though. It's good to be back, and uh, got our spread out there. Uh, experimenting a little bit with some different teaser stuff going on here. Um, I think we're uh, we may go down the road of uh, setting up a little pitch bait program, but we're uh, we're just kind of kind of getting the, the basics set up if we can how we can do it with just two crew and. You know, the fish here really don't tease very well, especially the big ones, so we don't want to miss our opportunities. But anyways, that's something to stand by for. But anyways, we're out here, we're heading around the corner. Um, current's already looking like it's pretty pretty solid south current. Um, see what we find when we come around the edge here. Uh, and we'll kind of determine how our day will go. Um, I'm probably going to hammer this little lump right kind of uh, down by uh, the end of town this way. I'm going to work that zone a bit, see if we can find the one that we're looking for. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, heard a couple small ones showed up too, so that's kind of the beginning as our summer starts, you know, you'll see, you'll see a wave of little rats will show up. Here's an interesting thing I've noticed, and we've talked about here, and it's a, I want to bring up a theory, and I actually would like to get some of your guys' uh, uh, thoughts on it. You comment below, comment in the comment section if you've seen similar things, or if you have an idea why this is happening, or whatever, just, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get a lot better at answering comments and being active on that, so post on that. But anyways, what happens I've, I've seen quite a bit is like, the big one, the small ones will show up in a wave, right? And like real small ones. And uh, they'll, it's like they're not committing to feed. It's almost like they'll just come in and just pack black allure or get like a foul hook, a lot of bill hook. You'll hear a lot of people going like one for four, one for three, oh for two, oh for three, you know what I mean? Weird bites, little fish, not committed like ooh, for eating bites, you know? And it'll happen and then all of a sudden it'll stop. And people will also be marking big ones at the same time. And then all of a sudden they'll kind of like taper off on that. They might start feeding and then big ones will feed. Boom, boom. It'll be like a day where a bunch of people see big ones. It'll be like, you know, it'll be on. But for a short period of time, they're just like doing this weird whacking, coming in, whacking, doing weird stuff. Now, I don't know why that is. I had previously thought there's also usually a little bit of a wave of flying fish around too. And 
so I thought, oh, they're just feeding on little things, so they're whacking at it. But the theory I've heard now several times from different people, and I don't, I ain't a scientist, I don't know, it's not my theory, but it does kind of make sense, is that these fish are in here being territorial before the spawn. So the females are here, or, or during the spawn. The females are spawning, these fish aren't really feeding, they're more just like aggressively getting stuff out of the way, or whatever it is. I don't know what science basis on that. I don't know if anyone else has ever thought of that before, but that is one theory worthy to consider. Much what we're doing out here anyways. Um, we're still looking for the right one. We're still trying to fish, and um, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, let's go fish. And if you have ideas, comments, smack them below. And uh, let's go see what we can find today. Hopefully this weather clears up. It is looking pretty nasty at the moment. Uh, I cannot even see the island to the left of me right now, but um, we're in Hawaii. And it's gonna be a good day. Today is a good day. Yeah, it's real. We don't have to peg back yet, there it is. Pretty much. Yeah, now I'm ready. <laughs> it's gonna, it hadn't been put on in a while. I mean, that bad one fucking sticking so bad. Sorry. <laughs> he's right, I mean, he's right there, he's still. Coming up, get ready. He's got backed up to him. Woo! Oh yeah, way more than that, yeah. There he is, look at him jumping, holy Let's go! Yeah, come on! <laughs> Still jumping! Zoom in, zoom in! Yeah, he's probably like, what the <laughs> Woo! Woo! Come on! Let's go, baby! All right, well, we got one there. Um, yeah, we're trying something a little different, basically, what? Back out. Uh, yeah, we'll just troll right to the harbor and head in. So yeah, so that one, uh, basically what I was talking about earlier this morning, we're you know, kind of transitioning our spread over. We haven't gone completely hopeless, but I just wanted to see how these things are gonna tease off my bridge teasers. I got all my electrics yeah, up here, and uh, basically Woo! it worked. She whacked it, ran over, she was there, gave it a couple cranks, came up on it, a couple more, she came right behind it, uh, pulled that out of the way, and we just had like the sundowner, which has been just a tremendous hookup bait for us. Um, it's right there. Gave her the sundowner. She piled on the sundowner. Uh, and we got her. So that was a sign to me of, you know, the transition of this, uh, of, you know, what we're doing here with this red. So it's cool. Um, I think we're going to now, you know, 
so like I said, make our transition into just throwing baits on it. We'd have no hooks. But I wanted to see how they how this worked up here in the bridge with it. We'd go from there. Got one, heading in now.